Hi, this is Dr. Graves with Cal State Northridge Geography Department. This video tutorial is for Mac users to help you learn to download the Citrix client so that you can use the Virtual Software Lab or MyCSUN software at Cal State Northridge. One of the first things that you probably should learn how to do is to activate your system preferences and change your security and privacy settings so that you can allow apps to be downloaded from some place other than the Mac Store. So click on the lock to make changes. Put in your password and at least temporarily set your settings so that you can allow downloads from anywhere. Click OK and then uh, relock it for the moment. You can eliminate this screen and then go to uh, a search window. My CSUN software is what you will type in. Click on the link. Scroll down to log in to My CSUN Software, also known as the VSL or Virtual Software Lab. In order to run these applications, you have to install something called a Citrix client. So click here once. Notice that the software has downloaded here in the corner. Click down, click on it opening the Citrix online plugin and here it prompts you to install the plugin so there I'm plugging in continue I'm going to agree to the license click install password once again it tells me the installation was successful I can close close the installer Do you want to trust this website yes we will trust it on several occasions yes trust lots of trust G4002, that's my logon information and my password here at CSUN. Click logon. Not going to save that password. Click to open the folder and click on ArcMap. It wants to open a plugin for the first time. Do you want to open it? Yes. Click open. Wait a moment, and you should see a window in a few moments that says starting ArcMap version 3.0. And now your computer is being used to operate another computer that is a PC, which produces a few problems but not many. You may click cancel, click on file open, click on computer, click on geog share, sometimes double click, click on open and you can select from any number of the classes that you may be enrolled in. I'm going to double click on geog 107 I'm going to click on Lab 1, double click on Lab 1 once again, and this will open the introductory lab for this class. One of the few things that one has to know if you're a Mac user, I have found that it takes a bit of experimenting to translate, particularly right click from the PC to a Mac. Sometimes it's a two-finger clip click 
are pressing two fingers at the same time. So, for example, you may want to a uh, right click on um, what I'm using is uh, the configuration I have is Option and click a double click and control at the same time opens the table. I can't give you more specific instructions because the Macs vary from platform to platform. Using the information button should work the same. The only other advice that I can give you is that if the Citrix client did not install properly from the university, one of the things you might need to do is to go to the Citrix plugin, uninstall it, and go straight to the website um, known as Citrix.com. So this is what it should look like. It should recognize uh, the type of platform that you're using or the, the operating system and that you can download it straight from there. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If it is still not helping you, you still are having trouble, see your instructor or uh, if your instructor can't help you, call 677-1400 to talk to the help desk or take your laptop to the first floor of Oviet Library. This ends this video tutorial.